Hello everybody, hello again, and welcome in to the Purple Penguin Craft Room. I am Vicki. Uh, today's craft is going to be pine cones. Uh, it's going to be a pine cone ornament. Um, now I know a lot of you um, don't have access to pine cones, but I mean if you go on nature walks or, you know, as weird as it is, you can actually buy pine cones at the, some of the stores. Um, you just have to look around. Um, but me and, and my husband, uh, we do have a Jeep, and so we like to go out jeeping. And um, while we're out, I like to collect pine cones. Um, just something that I like to do. Um, and these, I can get them in all sizes and shapes, and they, they come in all sorts of things. These are on the little bit larger size, um, because in our area, I'm in Washington State, um, and there we have found an area that does have rather large pine cones. These are actually on the smaller side. Um, some of the pine cones I have are up to nine inches, um, maybe even 10. Um, so I like to, you know, start to collect them. And then it's like, at one point, what do you do with them? <laughs> you gotta find ways to, to do things with them. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna do ornaments. Um, this uh, whole video is going to be about ornaments. Uh, so we're just gonna take this cute little pine cone. Um, actually, I'm probably going to do this little bit smaller one. Just a little bit smaller one. Um, and we're going to turn it into a ornament for like a Christmas tree. Well, it's going to be Christmas tree like themed, um, but you can take this and kind of run with it and you can decorate it however you want and hang them up whenever you want. They don't have to be for Christmas if you don't want to. Um, so we're going to probably use some greens. I got these at Dollar Tree, uh, but you can get pine needles or greens. You don't even have to do pine needles. You can do whatever kind of greens you want or whatever kind of floral you want. Might throw some of this in here. I'm kind of undecided on some of the decoration. I've got all these different um, berries because I would like to add some berries to it. I would also gonna go. Um, I'm thinking about adding some of these. These are, I believe they call them like table scatter or filler, um, but they're just little foam balls. Uh, these are a little bit sparkly, um, but you can get them in all different colors. You can get them. I've seen them at Dollar Tree. I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. I've seen them at, even at Walmart. You can get them anywhere. Um, might throw a few of those in there. Um, I, I've got some ribbon and some cord, kind of, again, haven't decided on what stuff I want to use, but we're kind of going to go along the way. I also have um, this that I might use instead of the greens, depending on if I want to or not. It's basically, I got this at Hobby Lobby, and it's basically a pine, um, it's basically a pine on wire. That's basically what it is. It's just a roll of it. Um, I believe it comes in how many feet it comes in uh 30 feet 30 feet so you get quite a bit of it um you can only get it during the christmas time at hobby lobby i usually grab a couple of them because you know, i like using them like all during the year because it is pine so to me you can use that all year round but everybody else you know i mean i guess it's questionable <laughs> i guess it just depends on who you are but uh let's go ahead and let's jump in and get started and uh See how this looks at the end. Well, getting started, I'm going to use one of my smaller pine cones. I have this one too. I really kind of like the shape of this one. Um, but we're just going to do it with this one. Um, to start off with, um, I want to have um, something to hang it first. I want to make sure I can have something to hang it. Because once you start decorating the top of it, like all the decorations and stuff up here, you're probably not going to be able to get a string or a wire or whatever you want to use to hang it um, through all your embellishments and things on top. So it's always a good point to start with how you're going to hang it. Um, it's always a good point to start. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead, we're going to use some floral wire. This is 24 gauge floral wire. Um, you can get it at any of the, the stores. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, um, it is 18 inches long. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead, we're going to bend this in half to make a loop. 
So that way we've got just something to start with here. I want to twist that, keeping it together. See, you know, my pine cone kind of does this little curve thing, which would be kind of nice if it was straight up and down and I could just kind of attach it to its little stem portion here. Um, but it does have a little curve thing going on. So we're going to put our wire here and kind of just try it and wrap it around as many of these little guys as we can get into to help hold it. It doesn't take much to secure these because they are super light and durable, but I am just going to go ahead just because I've got the extra wire just going to keep going around. Then I've got my little hook here. And I am going to kind of, I don't know why, I want to hook it around its stem too. Just because. So I've got this little this little circle hook thing to hang. Now i got to decide how long I want, I, if I want to do string, if I want to do another wire, what do I want to do with this? I kind of, I, I like the fact of having jute wire. So we're going to use a uh, jute cord, sorry, jute cord. Uh, this is actually from Walmart. Um, you, this is where I got it at Walmart. It, or I also got this one, again, also at Walmart. Um, they're both in the floral section, if not the floral section, and definitely in the crafter section. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my ruler here. I typically, and this is a rule of thumb for me, I like eight inches. Eight inches on the string is usually the size that I do for my ornament string. Like if I'm making any type of ornaments whatsoever, I always do eight inches. And that's, I mean, again, that's typically, that's just what I like to do. And I do that just because it makes it easier for me uh, because, I mean, once you tie it, you don't need a whole heck of a lot of string going on. I'm going to go ahead. So I put it around my loop there. And then we're just going to take the two ends together and tie a knot. The easiest thing ever for an ornament string. And, you know, because these are pine cones, it's kind of rustic. Um, I feel like the twine gives it kind of more added, kind of a rustic kind of feel to it. There you go. So now we've got our ornament string. This does look kind of small, um, but it really, you don't need a whole lot for... Um, for hanging it on a tree or any kind of hook or whatever. You don't need a really, really big strand um, unless you really want to. But, you know, if, it, if I find it's too short, I can always cut it and redo it. Um, not a big deal. So, now that I've got that, um, I want to try and do this in layers. Um, the bottom layer, or first layer, I should say, uh, is going to be greenery. And for greenery, I have I have these that I got from Dollar Tree. They were in like a plastic bag um, pack, um, but you can get you can get pine greens anywhere, like I said. Um, or I also have this. Like I said, this was um, at Hobby Lobby. Just kind of like to rough it up. It does come a little flat because it's kind of in a roll, and I'm kind of leaning towards this stuff because. I want to actually kind of wrap it around and kind of get it started. And it is just wire, so if I don't like the length on it, I can just cut it and do it again. So I kind of like that. I might want a little bit more, but let me go ahead, I'm going to glue this on just for some security here.
I like to rough it up a little bit. Like I said, it is kind of flat. I think I'm going to do at least a couple more strands on this. It doesn't have to be perfectly laying any specific way or, you know, you, it's just kind of, you might want to make it look as natural as possible. Now I am keeping in mind which direction my, my hanger is because that's going to determine. So if you think about it, when you, when you hang it on something, you typically hang it on something like this, right? And so when you look at the object after you put it on whatever you're hanging it on, you're either going to look at this portion of it or the back or this portion of it. Right, so you might want to make sure when you decorate, you decorate while holding it like this. This is the part you're going to see. So if I was to decorate, let's say, the side, like this side here, see how you're, you're not going to see it because that's going to be the side portion of it when you're hooking it on something. Unless whatever you're hooking it on is sideways. Typically when you hook it on anything, like a tree branch or like a nail or anything like that, it's going to be, it's going to be this direction. So just something to kind of keep in mind. And you can always manipulate that too. You can turn it, since it is on a wire, that can be turned if you end up kind of forgetting about that step. Okay, so there we go. Let's see if they're glued on there. We can kind of manipulate them a little bit because they are wire. Some of the greenery like this, once you put it on there, you, I mean, it's got some wire in it, but there's some parts of it that don't have wire. Um, so it makes it a little bit harder to kind of manipulate and kind of turn it and make it th all the things. So the other side, I think I want this side to be my front here. Now, I've got the greens on there. I can always go back and add more greens uh, as my layers. Um, I kind of, I kind of like this stuff here, and this was actually from the Dollar Tree. It's just sparkly. I'm not a huge fan of sparkly, but every once in a while, a little bit of sparkly is okay. <laughs> um, let's see if we just take a little bit of this. Little bit of... It does add a little bit. I kind of like it. And I think if we kind of drape it on both sides. Okay. Let me make sure, again, I, make it, I keep double checking. Sure where my wire is at, or where my hanger is. So this is a little bit longer than my greenery, which it's okay. It's okay. We're just gonna, it's gonna drape down.
coming along here. I think I'm done with the silvery stuff. Um, let's go ahead. I think I want to add some berries. Um, I couldn't decide. I've got this. I have red berries. I have these white and green, which look kind of cute. Um, but then I have these bigger red berries too. These uh, these were probably um, probably got them on sale. This is one ninety nine, but I think they were either at Michaels or Joann's, and I probably got them on sale. Um, I usually tend to do that um, off season. Um, I will grab things when they go off sale or on sale um, after the season is over. And I kind of like these. So I'm going to just pull off. We don't need a whole thing. We're just going to add these to it. Again, yeah, most of this stuff is on wire, which actually makes it really, really handy for being able to glue it on and then you can change your mind and redirect it and move it around after it's glued. So we're looking pretty decorative together. I like the bigger berries. I mean, I could have easily used the smaller ones because um, this is, I mean, the pine cone itself is not tiny. Um, maybe like on this one, it's a little bit smaller um, just in size. I probably will do the smaller berries with the smaller pine cone. Um, but this pine cone itself is actually pretty decent size. And I like that. We'll check it again. We're good here. Okay. Um, I was going to add in the little white bulbs. Um, I still might. Let's go ahead and hold off on those for right now. Um, I want to get a ribbon on it. I want to get some ribbon on it. And I was kind of leaning towards um, something with white. I have silver. So I kind of want to go with silver and gold. Um, this white here that actually has a silver lining, little shimmer silver stuff on it. Let's see what that looks like. Like I said, I do kind of want to get this a little towards Christmas, so that's why I'm going with the red and the white. Uh, this is actually from, um, I believe it's from Hobby Lobby, but it might have actually. Oh, I might have even got it from Walmart. I don't know. So, let's just do a, a simple bow with a couple loops. So I'm just going to start my bow. I hold, I hold my bow in one with my pinky and my thumb. I determine how big I want my bow to be with these three fingers. So that's how wide I want my bow to be. We're just going to take it and wrap it around. And I typically like three loops. Three loops usually does really well for me. 
Then we're going to pinch it in the middle. And then we got our tails. We got our loops. I'm just going to, before I tie it off, I'm just going to sit it on top here. I like how that looks. I like long tails, so we might keep it long. I'm going to take some extra and we're going to tie it off. Put this around and tie it off in the back. Kind of a cheater, cheating way of making a bow here. I'll have to double knot that, but uh, of course I did not leave myself enough room here. <laughs> Try again. ribbon here to tie it off. tails down so you can see them like a real bow. Then we just take our loops and kind of fluff it up a little bit here. If you want a bigger bow you just add more loops. No big deal. going to look. I love it. Absolutely love it. Now glue it on. So then you can just kind of maneuver. If your tails don't like to stay where you put them, you can definitely um, you can try and tack them down with some glue. At this point, you can try and you can add different decorations here if you want. Um, I mean, you can you can move the berries around. You could cut some of the berries. You know, you know, like these extra ones hanging off the end. We could probably cut those back so that they are not too long. Like I'm kind of thinking they're a little much. So let's cut those off. There we go. I like that better. But then I can take them and I could probably manipulate and put them back in here. If I wanted to. a good idea. We're just going to really lose them. Stick it back in here. There we go. Like I said, just kind of move things around, do whatever you want to do with it. And you have your own little pine cone tree ornament. So cute. Definitely follow along and uh, tell your friends where you found me at Purple Penguin Craft Room. And keep coming back for some more videos.